In the previous video, you learned about measures of central tendency, so the, the kind of peak or the center of these distributions. Now, these two distributions, these two histograms, the blue line and the green line, they obviously have the same peak. They have the same mean, the same median, and the same mode, but they are obviously very different distributions. And what is different about them? You guessed it, it's the blue one is fatter and the green one is narrower. So there's something about the dispersion around the mean, the variability around the mean that is greater for this blue curve and smaller for the green curve. So that's what we want to quantify. We need to attach specific numbers to what we see here, which is that the width of the distribution can vary. There are several different measures of dispersion and this one called variance is the most commonly used. It's a similar term or it comes from the same root as variability. So when there's more variability, there's higher variance. Don't worry about the formula for now. We can look at these two examples. So we see this is a little data set and this is a little data set here. And what I'm drawing here with these ticks is where each of these numbers lie on this number line. So you can see these numbers are further spread apart. These numbers are closer together. In fact, they overlap a lot, which is why you see only three bars here. So these numbers are close together. The variance is smaller. These numbers are all spread out more. So the variance is larger. It's quite a big difference, this number compared to this number. So how do you compute variance? How do exactly do we measure that? Well, essentially what we do is we measure the distance from each individual data point to the average of the data points. So the average of all these data points is gonna be somewhere around here. And we wanna know how different, how far away are these data points from the mean? And same thing here, how far are each of these data points away from the mean, which is gonna be around here? So these points are not very far from the mean. These points are much further from the mean as a collection. So that's why this has higher variance and this has lower variance. So that's basically what the formula does. It takes each individual value and subtracts it from the mean, and then we square that. And the reason why we square it is partly so that we don't have to worry about negative numbers because a negative number squared turns into a positive number, and partly because we want variance to grow with really distributed data. So when you square numbers, they get really large. So this is the idea of variance. The other measure of dispersion that's commonly used is called uh, standard deviation. Now standard deviation is exactly the same thing as the variance. So you can, I'm showing you the formula just for completeness, but you don't have to worry about the math. The point is that variance measures the width of this distribution here, and standard deviation is basically the same thing as variance. It's just the square root of variance.